and welcome to In Awe of Elohim. Today, my precious children, I am on to Psalms 83 and verse 17. This is the ultimate reward of the enemies of God's children. This is a very sobering, somber moment. This verse of Psalms 83 is spoken with much somberness. It is spoken with much sadness because mankind have been made in the image of God. Mankind have been called to reflect God. But there are some whom have made a decision to serve the devil and to be seeds of the devil. And so my precious children, they are agents of the devil. They have given themselves over to the serpent. And by so doing, they have become seeds of the devil. And so, choosing to follow God or choosing to follow the devil is a choice that every single person has the ability to make. Today, based on my observation and what I have experienced and what the Spirit of the Living God has revealed to me, today is a day when I pronounce the ultimate reward for the enemies of God. Today is a day when I speak what thus the Lord shall do according to his word in Psalms 83 verse 17. There is one song that the Lord had me to document on the 17th of September, which coincided with the verse 17 of Psalms 83. And so now, my precious children, as I come to you from the ministry of In Awe of Elohim, I will go before God and I will thank Him that He, His name, His word, His promises will come to pass. See, the Lord gave me a promise and because he is God, he will fulfill his promise. If the Lord speaks, it is because he wants us to hearken, to hear, and to do what he says to do. When we choose not to do what the Lord says to do, there is a reward. <clears throat> the Lord has given the seeds of the serpent 1,267 days to hearken to his voice, to release my children, Joseph and Faith, and still they would not. And today, on the 20th day of September, the Lord is saying, My beautiful daughter, seed of Abraham, Bella Abrahini, that today is the day that you speak my word, and today is the day that my word shall come to pass. Hallelujah! So, my precious children, I must be obedient to God. And so 
today I go before the throne of God and I thank him. I thank him for what he has done. And I will speak what thus saith the Lord. Most Holy Father, you've given me today. I haven't seen the sun because it's been overcast. But even though I haven't seen the sun, it's light outside and I know the sun is there. Even though the clouds are covering the sun, I know it's there. And my Father, uh, just as you have uh, shown that you give and you take away, you cause the sun to shine on the just and on the unjust. There are scores, there are actually hundreds of unjust, ungodly seeds of the serpent whom have stolen my children, Joseph and Faith, whom have stolen my house, making me homeless, whom have stolen my money, money that I tithe from, money from which I gave your 10% and then some for over five years. Lord God, you have said in your word in Habakkuk chapter 3, chapter 2, Lord God, and verse 8, Lord, you have said, he who touches the apple of your eyes, they, Lord God, they shall be rewarded. Father, today is the day of your reward. The enemy have come into thine inheritance. They have laid your children, Lord God, as heap. They have poured out the blood of your children. They have come into thine inheritance. They have stolen the houses of God, Joseph and Faith. And they have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel will be no more. My Father, today is preparation day, and today is the day for your ultimate judgment, for your ultimate reward for the final call, for the curtain call. Today, Lord God, in somberness, I call upon you according to what you have instructed me to do. Today is the ultimate reward. Today is the curtain call. Today, the Lord's judgment is being fulfilled in Kentucky upon the seeds of the devil upon the serpent seed and father god today is the day of your judgment lord god your word says in psalms 83 verse 17 let them be confounded and troubled lord god forever lord yea uh, let them be put to shame and uh, perish. Lord, it's your final judgment. It's the ultimate reward for the enemy. Like you surprised the Pharaoh and his army with your creation. Today is the day for those who have risen up against Joseph and faith and me today is the day my father today is the day that your promise is fulfilled today is the day that you get your glory today is the day that your words shall accomplish what you please today is the day father and i thank you for who you are for what you've done and for what you're doing right now in Kentucky, right now in New Hampshire, right now, my father, it is the day of ultimate reward. Oh God, you're good, you're kind, you're more than these. I'm lost for words just trying to define you. Today is the day, my father, where your mercy endures forever. Today is the day, my Lord, where you 
will be exalted where you will get you your honor the opposite of shame is honor today is the day when you will be honored upon pharaoh and upon the egyptian army and upon the ammonites and the moabites upon the ishmaelites and the jebusites upon the philistines upon goliath of gat upon lord god almighty the hagarenes upon lord god almighty the inhabitants of tyre upon the assyrians today is the day lord when you will get your ultimate reward upon zeb and oreb upon O oh God, Sisera, upon Zalmunna and Zeba, today is the day, Lord God, when you will get your ultimate reward upon the enemies. And so now, my Father, I just thank you for what you're doing, and I thank you for what you've done. I stand in awe of who you are. I stand in awe of your power. I stand in awe of your glory. I stand in awe, my Father, my King, my Savior, of all that you do for your people. Lord, be glorified. Lord, be magnified. Lord, be lifted high. In Jesus' holy name, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you for the word in Luke chapter 10 and verse 19. Behold, I give you power to tread upon the serpent and scorpion and over all the powers of the enemy, and nothing by no means shall harm you. Today is the day, Lord God, when your kingdom come, when your will is done. Today is the day, Lord, that I lose in Kentucky what is loose in heaven. Today is the day when I bind in Kentucky what is bound in heaven. Today is the day, Lord God Almighty, where your power is seen in Kentucky, where your power is loosed in Kentucky. Today is the day, Lord God, where your power is loosed at 3069 Caddis Lane. Today is the day, Lord God Almighty, where you are being vindicated, where your name is being, O oh God, uh, recompensed. Today is the day, Lord God Almighty, where you will be glorified, where your children will rejoice. Today is the day where we say, Hallelujah, Jesus, be exalted among the heathen, be glorified in all the earth. Today, Lord God, is the day when you shall get your glory, when you shall be honored upon Pharaoh. Today is the day, Lord God, when you will reward those who have come up against the apple of your eyes. Lord, we thank you. We know that you are swift. We know that you ride high as the mighty warrior that you are. We know, Lord God Almighty, that no one can stand against you. No one can and no one will. And so today, my Father, we bless your name. We glorify your name. We know, Lord God, that you shall reward the enemy, Lord, seven foes according to the reproach wherewith they have reproached your people. So, Lord God, uh, right now we thank you. We glorify you, Lord God, as you ride, ride on, King Jesus. Ride on, chariot of fire. Ride on, host of the Lord. Ride on, archangel, uh, Michael, uh, Gabriel, Raphael, Nael, Tizioel, Ketethoel, Havayel, Javayel, right on, King Jesus, right on, and be magnified, be glorified in Kentucky, in New Hampshire, in all the earth. Lord God Almighty, we will be careful to give you all the glory and all the honor and all the praise, because Jesus, you are Yah, and there is no one like you. We thank you, Father. Imela, Imela, O ye kaka, O ye kerua, Imela, Imela, Ezimo. We thank you, great and mighty King. We thank you, great and mighty Creator. In the name of Jesus Christ, we say thank you and hallelujah. Eya, ya, yad, hey, va, hey. 
Hey, Yad, hey, Va, hey, Lord God Almighty, do what you're famous for. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Oh, praise God. I could stop right there, but the Spirit of the Living God says, uh, uh, share what I told you. The Lord showed me in Psalms 83, verse 17, and I'm going to read the promise that God uh, gave to me. And on uh, September 17th, on the day of the ultimate reward of the enemies of God, the Lord God gave me uh, two things according to uh, the promise that he gave me in Jeremiah chapter 31, verses 15 through 17. And I will read it in your hearing. And um, the Lord, the Lord showed me this photo just now. This, this is the street upon which me and my children used to travel to go to her home. That's a photo of my two youngest daughters. That's Kaylee, the older daughter, and that's Faith. Faith is my little baby. Faith is one of my babies that the vile, wretched seeds of the devil stole from me. And so there's no coincidence that God uh, brought up this photo in my collections to remind me, my precious baby, according to what the Lord says in Jeremiah chapter 31, verses 15, 16, 17. And I will recite it for you. But before I do, I will share two things with you. And then I'll share a little corito, a little chorus. And then I will read for you the promise God gave to me. Oh, praise God. So the Lord said, I will surprise the enemies with my judgment. I will make their existence forever a peril. I will wipe them out. I will bring reproach and dishonor and shame upon all of your enemies, upon their children, upon their children's children. All their days will I trouble them. I will be swift. I will give them their ultimate reward. I will slay them, said the Lord God. The promise that God gave to me, he reminded me on September 17th from around 4.15 p.m. to around 7.05 p.m. I call it the eyes of the Lord. I'll try to show you a photo of what it looks like. The Lord showed me in his signs and wonders the two rainbows that were east and west, east and west of of the sun and in showing me these two rainbows the Lord reminded me of his promise the Lord reminded me of his promise at first I only saw one one of the rainbow and then towards the latter part of the evening the Lord showed me uh, both of them. Uh, it might be difficult for you to see it on my phone, but I'm going to try my best to show you. I think this this is a good a good photo of it. Thank you, Lord. So, the promise God gave to me is in Jeremiah chapter thirty one. It's, it's hard to see, so I'm not even going to try. It's, it's hard to see, but I'll just describe it for you. So essentially, the Lord had the clouds. As you can tell, it's really overcast. The Lord had the cloud, and we can see the sun. And um, the sun, basically, oh, there it is. 
the sun basically was covered by the clouds but in both corners east and west east and west there was a rainbow east and west there was a rainbow so on this side and on this side there was a rainbow you might be able to see it now there it is there it is yeah so on the east and west side of the of the of the sun were two rainbows and the Lord reminded me in that moment of the promise he gave to me concerning Joseph and faith the promise is in Jeremiah 31 verses 15 16 17 it says thus saith the Lord a voice was heard in Rama lamentation and bitter weeping uh, I'm going to replace Rahel with a Bella a Bella weeping for her children refused to be comforted for her children because they were not thus saith the Lord to me to Bella uh, refrain thy voice from weeping and thine eyes from tears for thy work shall be rewarded saith the Lord and they shall come again from the land of the enemy Kentucky is the land of the enemy and there is hope in mine end saith the Lord that my children that is Joseph and faith shall return unto their own border I sent a photo of my my children all my children I sent a photo on Wednesday um, evening to my older daughters that's a photo of my my oldest my second daughter my only son Joseph and precious baby faith that's a photo of me it was right there in uh, spring in fact it wasn't spring yet it was winter everybody's wearing their thick winter coat there in New Hampshire in Rye me and my children took I think it was a Sabbath evening we went outside to get some fresh air and close out the Sabbath that's a photo of me and my four children there in New Hampshire in 2021 early 2021 the Lord reminded me that his promise is yes and amen the promise I just read to you there is hope in mind and that my children uh, Joseph and faith my two youngest children shall return to me I am my children's border they shall return to their border I am my children when a child is born into this world they come through a woman uh, God is so sovereign he didn't allow man to bear children I bore my four children I brought them into this world the seeds of the devil in Kentucky and New Hampshire stole my precious two youngest children from me but the promises of God is yes and amen God gave me a promise in January of 2022 and the Word of God says uh, that yea though it tarry the promise has tarried long but it shall come swiftly today the Lord has said I will make the ultimate reward happen swiftly I will bring judgment the final curtain call I will bring it down upon all the seeds of the devil in Kentucky today uh, September the 20th in the year of the Lord 2024 the Lord God is not mocked the Lord God shall not at all acquit the wicked everyone who have come up against me one way they shall flee seven ways the angel of the Lord shall overtake them and the Lord God says here in Psalms 83 and verse 17 that they shall perish I say to my father slay them Lord slay every single one of them 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be according to the words of the living God. Slay every single one of them with the sword of the Lord and of Gideon. Let your final judgment be today. Let your ultimate reward upon the seeds of the devil be today. In the name of Jesus Christ, Gideon and Selah. My precious children, I want to uh, leave you with this song that the Lord gave to me on Wednesday as I stood there on those rocks on which my children stand stood. From the rising of the sun till the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed, Adonai. From the rising of the sun. Till the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed, Adonai, Amen. Amen. My Father, I thank you for your promise. I thank you that you are a promise keeper, miracle worker, light in the darkness. Though we don't see the sun today, we know it's there because you shine brighter than the sun. And now, my Father, I pray by the power and the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Ghost and by the word of the living God that you will fulfill your purpose and your promise in my life and to me and to my children. Let it be done according to your words. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, 
we say thank you we bless your name i pronounce your blessing upon my children upon joseph and upon faith upon kaylee upon addy upon all the missing children in the ministries of for the blood of christ and in awe of elohim Lord God, get your glory, Lord, upon the Philistines. Get your glory, Lord God, according to your word and according to your promise. We thank you, Lord God. And we give you the glory and the honor. We give you the praise in Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. Selah. My precious children, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace now and forevermore. Selah.